Hey guys, welcome to another video. I know it's been a while uh, since I've made one. Uh, anyway, today I wanted to do a little uh, speed test. Uh, I got this uh, this Dell computer for free, actually. Um, the lighting is kind of bad in here, but it's a Dell Dimension B110, um, and it has a Intel Celeron D processor and run, uh, runs Windows XP. Uh, so I did do a fresh install of this, uh, of Windows XP on this computer. And it has, uh, like I said, a Celeron D. It's a single core processor. Um, I believe this computer is from 2004 or five. Uh, originally came with 512 megabytes of RAM. Uh, that's DDR400 RAM. Uh, it has, uh, I added another 256 megabytes of RAM and I got a couple more sticks. So I'm gonna do some pre and post uh, uh, of those uh, speed tests of those so this is with 796 megabytes so the 512 plus the 256 and let's give it a go um, I have the timer on my watch here so I'm gonna go ahead and press the button and see how long it takes all right so okay Did I not plug it in right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got the num lock on the keyboard for a second there. All right, we are at 41 seconds. Let's be honest, this isn't too, too slow. This does have a, uh, I believe a 60 or 80 gig hard drive in it. Okay, and I'll let the wireless pop up here. Okay, wireless popped up, so we'll stop it here. So it's about minute and nine seconds, minute and 10 seconds, so that's not too bad. All right, so it is still loading, so I gave it kind of a, I was a little lenient there. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some RAM and I will come back and do another test. And just wanted to come back and give you the uh, information here. So this is uh, Windows XP. Um, it's running Service Pack 3, but actually somebody, uh, somebody online actually came up with a a combination of all the hot fixes and different updates that have uh, come out since Service Pack 3. So it was actually really cool and they called it Service Pack 4. It was an unofficial Service Pack 4. So uh, whoever made that, I'll have to shout them out because that was a really, really awesome thing and it saved a lot of time. Anyway, um, it has the, like I said, the Celeron D running at 2.53 gigahertz uh, and it has 768 megabytes of RAM. So um, I'm gonna be adding uh, some more and I will uh, see what I end up with so I'll be back with that test. Alright so here's the inside of this bad boy. So we have this uh, kind of interesting shroud that Dell includes and has a uh, the fan right here behind it and then has this weird shroud and has a, um, a heat sink instead of a fan over top of the processor, which is interesting. I think I would think that a fan would have been better. Um, has a little video card here. I'm not sure what kind it is. But yeah, so here's the existing RAM or the RAM that was in here. So there's only two RAM slots. So kind of limits me on what I can put in here and what I got. So what do we have here? So I have a, uh, this is a 512 gig or five gig, 512 megabytes, DDR 400 megahertz uh, RAM. And then this one is a 256 megabyte um, DDR. Oh, it's a much slower RAM, so it's 133 megahertz. So and this was this came from another PC um, that was uh, already kind of broken. So, all right, so we're gonna get rid of that. So what I got is, and I'm not sure if this is even compatible, but hopefully it is. Um, I got one gig of DDR 333 megahertz. So. Not quite as fast as the 512, but maybe it'll work. We will see. And I also have um, 512 megabytes, again, of PC2100. I'm not sure what the speed is on this, though. 
let's see. And then I have a another 512. So I have a 512 uh, DDR400, which actually matches the one that uh, that is coming out here. So those would match, so I could do that. But what I'm gonna do is uh, I wanna do a gig and a half, since that's all I can really do with only two slots. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put these bad boys in here. All right, so we're gonna do the one gig and Let's see, I'm assuming this is the main one here. Oh. Okay, I don't know why I always have trouble with these damn sticks. Okay, all right, and then we're gonna do, um, we'll do the, the 512, obviously, because that's all I have. All right. I'm sorry for the shaky cam, you guys. All right, so now uh, these are a little mixed, so I'm not sure if they will work, but we are gonna find out. All righty, so we'll pick this bad boy back up. And let me plug it back in. Uh, make sure that the VGA cable stays on there. I don't ever screw them on because I switch these things out because this is just a test testing monitor. All right, so I've got to plug back in here. Oh, all right. And, alrighty, we're gonna go ahead and test this bad boy again. So, power, let me make sure that's still on my watch. It's not. Okay, gotta find a little timer here. Okay, there we go. All right, so the first one was <clears throat> a minute and 10 seconds. So we're gonna reset that. So we get that reset. All right, let's turn this bad boy on. All right, and give it a second to actually turn on here. Bam. Okay, the amount of memory has changed. Strike the F1 key. Boop. All right, so I started that a little prematurely, but hopefully it'll still be good. Probably should do another test to make sure. So now this is 1.5 gigs. And the 512 megabyte uh, stick was 400 uh, megahertz and the one gig stick was 333 megahertz, but should make a difference. Uh, it's making a really big difference actually. <laughs> so we're already to the desktop now and it's only been it's about 37 seconds, 38 seconds. The wireless is on. And is it connected? Wow, everything is looking done. So I'm gonna say done. So 50 seconds. So a minute and minute and 10 seconds versus 50 seconds, that's a pretty pretty good solid time there, about 20 seconds, so. Um, the other, uh, the other thing I'm gonna do is, now because those are different, let me make sure that they are recognized in Windows here, just because I'm curious to see if it's even recognizing the full 1.5 gigs of RAM. So let's see, all right, so it is showing 1.5 gigs of RAM with that Celeron D. All right, and let's see how it looks on the uh, task manager here. Okay. All right, and it's using very little RAM. That's pretty good. The processor, I think, is still a little bit of a bottleneck, but um, seems to be working pretty good here. So not very much um, memory being used there. That's pretty impressive. All right, so now what I'm gonna try is I wanna see what the start time is as just one gig. So I'm going to do two 512 sticks, but they're gonna be the same speed, so 400 megahertz each. And we'll see what the difference in time is for that startup, okay? So I'll be back with that. All right, welcome back. All right, so we are doing surgery once again. So this, this time, I'm gonna do 512 megabytes in both slots with DDR. 400 megahertz. So our one gig stick is, is the first one. So we're gonna go ahead and take that puppy out. All right, so that is our one gig stick. So we're gonna take that bad boy out and we're gonna go ahead and put this one in. And now they will match. All right, so now, I have two 512 megabyte sticks at 400 megahertz a piece. So I'll go ahead and uh, plug this bad boy in and we'll do another test. 
All right, welcome back. And we're gonna go ahead and do another test here with the uh, timer on the watch here. So we have, uh, like we just did, the 512, 512 at 400 megahertz each. All right, so let's see what we got here. Power on. Go ahead and turn this bad boy on. Now system memory has changed. All right. And timer on and enter. There we go. Okay. And sorry for the flash, but my phone is not picking up enough light from my ceiling fan, which is not surprising. Okay, so we're at 18. All right, now we're just waiting for all the system things to show up here. Bam, bam, bam. I just want to see it connect to the actual internet on here. Hmm. I'm going to say we're good here. All right, so 54 seconds, 55 seconds, which uh, that's not too bad. So 55 seconds. So with 1.5 gigs, it was about 50 seconds. Uh, with two 512 sticks, so one gig at the same speed, 55 seconds. And then with 768 megabytes of RAM at different speeds, that was a minute and 10 seconds. All right, so the other test is I did get another processor to try. So now this has a Celeron D, and I got a Pentium 4. It's a little hard to see here, but is a Pentium 4 running at 2.4 gigahertz um, it is also single core but it has a higher cache uh, front cache so i believe it's 512 533 of cache anyway uh so this is what we're going to do next so i'm going to go ahead and change this out and then we'll do another test and i'm going to do a test with um the 1.5 gigs since that is the fastest so we're trying to just eliminate how much time it takes to start up All right, so now we have changed out the processor to the Pentium 4, and we are going to do another test of the speed. And of course, I'm not prepared because I'm filming. So anyway, so our last one here was the 55 seconds. All right, so let's go ahead and turn her on. Let's see if it does something weird before I press the timer. The amount of system memory has changed, so I'm gonna do that. All right, and we'll go ahead and hit here and hit the timer. All right, so we got timer going. All right, let's see what this let's see what this baby can do. The fact that it's booting makes me happy. <laughs> okay, numlock came on. Thirty seconds, so that's a big difference. All right, so let's see. So we're up here, and I was trying to give it a second for the Wi-Fi, but I don't think that's going to matter because it didn't connect last time. So we can stop it here. So we're at forty-three seconds. So what a big difference that made. So that paying four is definitely making a difference. So we got the one point five gigs, and then we have the uh, Pentium four. All right, so I got that Pentium 4 there showing up, 2.4 gigahertz, and then 1.5 gigs of RAM, and I think that's that's pretty cool. So um, this old 2005 computer can still boot up in you know 40 something seconds, and probably can you know get on the internet and everything else too. Um, I haven't installed anything else other than the updates and everything, but uh, it's basically stock. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.